very important day for some accomplished high schoolers. This is it, the Costa Bassmaster High School National Championship. Hard to believe this is the fourth year for this fairly new event right here, which has grown significantly through those four years. Lots of parents in attendance, as you would imagine. And lots of very anxious high school anglers getting ready to go. Those teams ready to take to a prestige place for sure, Kentucky Lake. Hey, welcome to the show here. Tommy Sanders here with Ronnie Moore. And yeah, yeah the growth has been fantastic, like when college started. That decade of, of fantastic growth, we're seeing it happen once again with high school, over 5,500 participants across the country. The youngsters are getting involved, and the parents are the driving force behind that. Tommy, mm -hmm. we've seen there are so many avenues to qualify for this championship, but there are so many people trying to get there. It's very competitive, and the best rise to the top and make it to Kentucky Lake. Yeah, you talk about the best. If you're new to this, uh, this particular event, you've never seen these kids in action before, I think it's safe to say, Ronnie, everyone's going to be impressed with their fishing skills. It's a a great farm system for the college series just like college funnels to the opens opens to the pros high school is that farm system for the college series as we say some big days ahead some big days of fishing let's get it started well we mentioned a prestige lake it certainly is that legendary kentucky lake and for the fourth year in a row paris tennessee on Kentucky Lake is going to be our host city. And Ronnie, this is a, a place that everyone dreams of fishing. Anyone who's into bass angling dreams of a trip here to come here for competition is very, very sweet. Tommy, it's such a dynamic fishery. You can catch them shallow, you can catch them deep, you can fish bridges, you can fish current, whatever you want to fish here. And we've seen in the past, it's been won multiple different ways. So plenty of options on this 150,000 acre fishery for these high school teams. Well, let's take a look at last year's championship and Kentucky Lake did not disappear point us then. Ryan Wood and Turner Mason from Colorado did their own thing. They went into a back of a creek, used a jerk bait, and they boated a lot of largemouth and actually smallmouth as well. Smallmouth factored in their bag. Something we hadn't seen, but that's what's cool when you get so many high school teams from across the country. They bring different yes. techniques here and they find their own water. Throughout the first four years, this event has traditionally taken place right at the very start of summertime. So all those options, those deep main river ledges and these backwaters all sort of come into play and actually I think we've seen more impressive stuff from the backwaters running. We've seen the Kentucky Lakes had a lot of higher water the last few years so the shallow fish have played factor big time but when that plays a factor more teams go shallow so those fish get pressured more than they normally would. Well again that was 2016 and the Front Range Bass Club played big time. Seven pounds two ounces in Front Range got to be taking it home. The 2016 Costa Bassmaster High School National Champions from the Front Range High School team over in Colorado, Mr. Ryan Wood and Turner Mason. Let's hear it for those guys. Right there, the team that took it all last year. The Costa Bassmaster High School Championships presented by Dick Sporting Goods, and we've got another whale of a tournament getting started here on Kentucky Lake. Three days of fishing schedule for these teams on Kentucky Lake, which has been, well, subject to some rough weather. But after day one, here's the weigh-in results right there. Luke Byerly and Bryson Mills doing some expertise on Kentucky Lake, knocking out a fifth place standing after the first day. Then we go to the Arkansas Youth Anglers, fourth place, Reese Jones and Dalton Johnson, 22 pounds and one ounce, has them sitting in fourth after day one. From Alabama, Moody, Alabama, Moody fishing team Jackson Isbell and Trent Robinson, a great day one, 22 and a half pounds, just under that, good enough for third place, well positioned. The local hometown team from Henry County High School, Sean Burkhart, Gavin Gordon, 22 pounds, 11 ounces, has them in second place going into day two of competition. Also from Alabama, from Springville, Alabama, already a win in open competition on the Tennessee River, Logan Henderson and Steven Swan. You guys definitely know how to catch fish on this Tennessee River. Yeah, sort of, kind of. I kind of feel like I'm seasick out there with all the waves, but I'll be all right. Good job. Think you do it again tomorrow? We can try if the weather is going to let us. That's a great job picking up right where you left off earlier this April. We told you before you would be impressed with these high school anglers. I think everyone was on day number one of this tournament. 14 teams, over 20 pounds, the Springville anglers with just under their record-setting weight, the biggest single day limit ever set in high school from the opens this year. Backing up the top five, the Douglas High School, Warren County, Hot Springs Lakeside, and all the rest as we head into day number two, or do we head into day number two? Tropical Storm Cindy moving through Southern Tennessee, playing havoc with the schedule. 
Tropical storm Cindy caused us to postpone day two. That's the key there. We uh, It's normally a three day tournament where we would fish full field for two days. After that second day, we would cut it down to the top 12 and uh, fish on that final third day. Um, but a storm system had us concerned. Uh, things were looking to get rough on our normally scheduled day two. and. Uh, um, and that's what happened. We, uh, after our day one weigh-in, we consulted the National Weather Service yet again. We probably have talked to them no, no less than five times this week. And, uh, and uh, their models were showing all the same stuff. Uh, heavy torrential downpours up to five inches locally. Flood warnings were issued. Um, and then, but we also had other threats. We had the threats of tornadoes, hail, straight line winds, and all sorts of things. And with Kentucky Lake, a playing field of over 150 miles, it was really essentially a no-brainer to go ahead and postpone day two and cancel day three. So the new plan is the full field will fish on Saturday, which was typically scheduled uh, day number three. Full field will go out, they'll come back in, and the team with the largest weight after two days will be crowned the national champions. From a three-day event to a two-day event, thanks to Tropical Storm Cindy. And what this means is this, usually the field is cut down for the final day. You can't do that in this situation. The full field, over 230 boats, will fish on the final day. We'll have that when we return. The Costa Bassmaster High School National Championship, presented by Dick Sporting Goods, is brought to you by Carhartt. Dick Sporting Goods. Bass Pro Shops. And by Costa. Welcome back to our coverage of the Costa Bassmaster High School National Championships 2017, presented by Dick Sporting Goods. Should have been three days of fishing, but day number two, you see what happened here. The tropical storm is the next worst thing to a hurricane. By the time it gets from the Gulf to Tennessee, it can still pack a punch. Day two is wiped out. So those standings from day number one with the Springville Anglers and their impressive 23 and three quarters pounds are on top. The full field will fish on the final day and that day finally dawns. And a lot of teams obviously thrilled to be fishing a final day. The downside of that, Ronnie Moore, is you might not have had a game plan for the final day. The goal is to catch bass no matter how many people are fishing, Tommy, but normally there's 12 teams going out on day three for the final day of competition. Everybody from first to 50th had a shot to win this thing, so everyone's still in it. You gotta refocus, know that there are 20 plus pounds of fish swimming around on any spot on Kentucky Lake, and you gotta try to catch them. 150,000 acres, but still 230 plus boats out there today. Well, we liked the two day because we have a lot of fish and a lot of size, but uh, all the boats running around really doesn't help, but it's nothing you can do about that. You just gotta go out there and catch what you can. It'd mean the world to the school and just to get our name out there and, and show that, that Alabama can bring the trophy home. Finally, we are underway here. All of these boats, it takes a while to launch that many boats and the team consists, of course, of two high school anglers and their captain who does the boat driving can't help with a little bit of the decision making, but the responsibility is that of the anglers to catch the fish and hopefully win the tournament. You see, Tommy, these guys head out of Kentucky Lake, 150,000 acres. They can fish, they can go left towards the dam and towards the Kentucky state line. They can go right and go south to Tennessee as far as they want to go. These guys made a pretty short run right around the corner to Big Sandy went back to find some shallow fish, some fish that they knew were there, but it would be difficult to maybe back up their 23 pounds and 12 ounces from day one because of the weather that rolled through. It was like this the first day. We didn't catch fish for the first 30, 45 minutes, and then, I don't know, they just started biting. Yeah, we caught one that was about 15 and a quarter, 15 and a half. Caught one that was four and three quarters and two almost five, if not five, all in different times of the day. I aren't getting as many bites as Thursday. Fishing's a little bit tougher, had to change up our strategy. We're flipping a jig instead of throwing a frog. Guess we're just gonna see how it goes from here. Keep grinding. Good. Springville Anglers, the leaders on the board right now, representing 
the state of Alabama and Springville. Of course, they represented big time in the open qualifier, the biggest event ever in Bassmaster history, almost 350 boats. That tournament, the Southern Open on Chickamauga, and this team won there as well. So a very impressive year already for them, and they're off to their start on this final day of competition in the national championship. Let's take a look at Henry High School and, and from Paris, Tennessee, Ronnie, but this is their first outing. They've just now formed a bass club there in Paris, Tennessee, and boy, they have done well right up there near the top oh, yeah. in the national championship. It's pretty cool right there, bud. Yeah. It's an experience we don't win. We'll never forget this, man. Oh, no. This is something we'll remember for the rest of our lives. Um, yeah, we've mostly been offshore, but the weather uh, has really played a big role in this. Um, but Practice, practice was really good. We had a bite on pretty much everything we threw in there, so it was pretty good. That's a big one, that's a big one. Oh yeah. Here, get it, let me get it. Get under here, get under me. That's a good fish right there, here, son. Keep him, keep him down, bud. Oh that's yeah, a, that's, that's a big one. He's a, he goes in the lava. Get in the front, get in the front. I got you. Do you need to come on the side? Oh, geez. Hey, come, come over, come over. Oh, he's a big one, he's pulling drag. I got you. Get over here. Oh, he's a good one. He's a good one. He's a good oh, yeah. one. He's right here, right here, right here. Right down, down, down. Right there. You see him? Pull him up some. I can't. Right there. There you go, baby. That's what I'm talking about, son. It's right here, Bubba. Yes, that's a toad, baby. Look, Look at, at that, old girl. Look at that girl, son. Dude, that's a toad. Look at that girl. Toad. Look at What'd that girl. Scrounger. Yeah, I thought it was a carp at first. I was like, no, he didn't catch that thing. Heck yeah, son. Woo. That's the way to cool. start her off. When in doubt, about, drag her out. About right there where I did that. Dude, I told you yesterday, man. Dude, when in doubt, drag her out. Whoa. I thought I was hung for a second because the drag I was saw, just pulling. I knew once that duck it started bending right that there. That drag was pulling on that old girl. That's a big one. It's a way to start her off. Yeah. Well, is the local mojo strong? Yeah, it's strong for Sean Burkhardt and Gavin Gordon. Henry County High School right here in Paris, Tennessee. As we move on down the lake, Kentucky Lake here, and pick up a team from Alabama, Jackson Isbell and Trent Robinson Moody Fishing. We're on them, Trent. We're on them. On these summertime bass. Big mature northbound bass. I don't guess they're biting because we would have got bit here. Tore them up over here Thursday. And there was a bunch of fish here. There was a bunch of fish here yesterday and I know I didn't catch all of them. Just see? Yep. Can't be tight my drag all the way up. I don't even know if it'll keep. Oh, this ain't even 15. <laughs> He touches the line, but barely. So. Right. Oh. Moody fishing on the board, definitely for these top teams here on the final day, the second day of fishing here. A lot of them picking up right where they left off on a fantastic day number one. But plenty of fishing ahead and a lot to decide on this day. We'll be back to continue after this. Costa Bassmaster High School National Championships presented by Dick's Sporting Goods. Final day competition going on right here and also this week uh, in the area here. 
Well, the junior championship for anglers who want to start their scholastic fishing before high school. And the champions, Miller Dowling, Chandler Hollingsworth from Alabama, the American Christian Academy there, and a big, big win for them. Let's get back out on the water and starting the day in eighth place, a team from Hot Springs Lakeside High School in Arkansas, Bo Browning and McCoy Vereen. Tommy, these two anglers were in the same position last year, just at the junior national level. They won the national championship on the junior side, and now they're here in contention, final day of the high school national championship in their first year. It was awesome. I mean, it was something that you dream about as a junior and high school fisherman just walking and winning the national championship. I mean, it's pretty much the Bassmaster Classic of junior and high school fishing. So to be able to win, it was an unforgettable moment and something I'll never forget. I mean, it was just awesome. I still have goosebumps when I think about, about it. It was awesome, you know, a lot of people don't get to do that and you had to thank the Lord for that and I'm, I'll always treasure that and keep that in the back of my head and it's just awesome, you know, getting to feel that and being there with the people you love, it was just, it was great and loved it. Well, this team from Hot Springs Lakeside, one interesting note, the captain is someone you may be familiar with if you're a bass fishing fan, it is Stephen Browning, Bo Browning's dad. Remember, in good standing of the Bassmaster Elite Series, one of the most accomplished guys in the sport. And right now, McCoy Vereen hooked up. Yeah, fishing definitely runs in this family. Time on the water is probably the biggest thing for young high school anglers to learn and grow. These two guys have spent time together in the juniors fishing together, and now spent time fishing the high school championship together. Their teamwork is obviously paying off for them big time on this final day of competition at the Coast of Bassmaster High School National Championship. I'm gonna borrow a word from McCoy. That is an awesome shot of that bass catch right there. Looks like a near five pounder, if not over five pounds. And from this team starting the day in eighth place, that is a huge plus. Puts them right there in the picture. We're maybe securing a national championship here on Kentucky Lake. Things start to heat up out here. Let's take a look at another team from Arkansas, from Rogers, Arkansas, the Arkansas Youth Anglers, Reese Jones and Dalton Johnson. Their day getting off to a good start as well. The team from Rogers, Arkansas, also picking up where they left off yesterday and already today, early hours, they've got three keepers in the boat. You know, with being out there on the ledges with all the other guys and you see them catch a fish, it kind of builds you up if you're not catching any fish. Well, it, it tears you down. But being here and not seeing anybody, it, uh, it really helps a lot. Just because we can do our own thing and not worry about what the person 10 feet down from us is doing, fishing the same the same fish. And plus they're just stacked on ledges. Like people, I counted nine on one spot this morning. We just don't like doing that stuff. start. That's fish number four for the Arkansas youth anglers, Reese Jones and Dalton Johnson. Tommy, we've seen it year after year. Shallow fish play even in the heart of the summer at Kentucky Lake. But watch out for those offshore fish as well. Yeah, and watch out for this team. It may be a new team, but as far as time on the water, these guys have got it. A lot of big stuff's about to happen with the, with the Henry County High School team. I mean, we're right next to Kentucky Lake. So, I mean, there's no reason that we shouldn't be on the water all the time. Well, it's been here for the past four years, and it's, it's really good that our high schools uh, finally started a fishing team. And just, we fished only two tournaments so far this year, and the qualifier being on Chickamauga. But um, it's really, uh, for us to be able to fish in this and to be placing pretty, uh, pretty high right now, to show that uh, Henry County can fish. Let's go up my line. I see him. I see him. Stay down, stay down. Dude, this is a big fish, man. All right, I see him, I see him. Hang on. He came up a little bit. He's right over here. here. He's running. They're running with it, son. Oh my God, this is a toad. Keep him down. Calm down. Oh yeah. All right, I'm, I'm gonna pull him up. There we go! Right here, right here. There we go. That's a good one. That's a good one. Oh yeah, he spit my Sean. 
Oh, it's another big one. He's getting smaller. Oh, no, he ain't. Hang on. Net him, net him, net him, net him, net him. Right here, right here. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. I got him. Come on, bring him up here. Good fish. Oh, she's a toad. <laughs> she took my worm on that one. Dude, I thought that was a deck of six pounder. She was pulled. <laughs> I know, they're fighting swore. hard, dude. They're fighting hard. There's no playing around with these fish. I gotta get back in there. Watch out. Kentucky Lake experts at a young age. The local team, Henry County High School, Sean Burkhart and Gavin Gordon with the lead early on. Final day. The Costa Bassmaster High School National Championship coming to you from Kentucky Lake. Only two days of fishing out here on this iconic fishery on the Tennessee River. I don't know much of the history of this old structure right here that's on the lake, but my colleague Ronnie Moore can tell you there are more catfish swimming around this thing than you can possibly imagine. So much history here on Kentucky Lake when it comes to big time bass tournament fishing. Let's get out to the history being made today. This is Moody Fishing. Jackson Isbell and Trent Robinson from Moody, Alabama. Already they are on the board. They've caught a good one today as they fly their trade out on the main lake. This is one of the teams, Tommy, fishing offshore. One of those famous Kentucky Lake ledges, those offshore schools. They've been catching quality all week, but as you know, weather, wind, fishing pressure, it all changes the size of the fish and how they behave. We're on this big bass summertime pattern. They're everywhere. You may have to measure him too. Felt like he was smaller, just tapping. How'd they get all skinny? Did he swallow it? Is that fish? What happened? When we first found them, they were decent. Second that's day, they that, were that's bigger. That first bite I had felt like it was just tapping, like a small fish. Third day, they were pretty okay. And now today, they're the smallest they've ever seen. That has to be some of the smallest fish we caught all, all week. week. We ain't caught one that small all week. <laughs> we never had to measure them. Two keepers in the boat, Moody Fishing from Moody, Alabama. Not minding being out there in the wind and main lake situation. This team said they'd rather avoid all that from Rogers, Arkansas. This is Arkansas Youth Anglers. We got five right now and what it really does, is it just puts you at that confidence level as in, I need to start hunting for some bigger ones. Kind of like big ones along the way will help, but you're really looking for four pounders and hoping you can get them and then you can start targeting these spots where you know there's big ones. We can really slow down now. Um, now that we have five, it's kind of like a safety net in a way. So, you know, we can slow down, we can go throw, you know, big jigs for the rest of the day, big worms going after that big bite. Um, and then hopefully, you know, we come across five, four pounders to get rid of the probably 10, 12 pounds that we got. Um, and that'll be a huge help. So having a limit is always good. Start reeling that out of there. Already with the limit, and there's a small upgrade for the Arkansas youth anglers, Reese Jones and Dalton Johnson, that team from Rogers, Arkansas. We're gonna go and visit quickly another Arkansas team. We've seen them already in action from Hot Springs Lakeside High School in Hot Springs, Arkansas. This is going to be Bo Browning and McCoy Vereen themselves having a good day today. 
see that name Browning right there we mentioned earlier. Well, it's Dad's boat, and Dad being one of the members in good standing of the Bassmaster Elite Series, Stephen Browning, one of the most versatile anglers in the world of pro bass fishing, got his start way back when, early in the old All-American Tournament. Won that one, a huge tournament on the Arkansas River, a career that includes 10 classic qualifications and three victories with the Bassmaster. Stephen Browning, one of the most impressive guys, and you would think Ronnie Moore very good hand to have in the boat today as your captain and sometime advisor up here on Kentucky Lake. You know, I, it's, this is one of those tournaments that, that everybody says you probably that I'm probably enjoying it, but I, I'm as nervous as I know I'm way more nervous than they are. It just uh, I know that you don't have an opportunity to win national championships very often, and I know these boys right now are. are they've got a shot and that's all you can ask and for me to be sitting here with my hands tied my mouth shut is just it, it's killing me right now but to be honest with you i couldn't tell them anything to do that i think would help them i mean they're they're doing exactly they're they're in a comfort zone of their own and uh i mean they're rocking so i, I mean if the best thing for a dad to do right now is just shut up and watch them so that's what i'm gonna do <laughs> Tommy, that's probably the hardest thing for an avid angler like Stephen Browning to do is to sit back and watch his son and his partner McCoy Vereen just fish. But he knows they're in a great position and in contention on this final day. We've seen two Arkansas teams faring well in this national championship, but will it belong when it's all said and done to the locals? And here they are having a good day, Sean Burkhart and Gavin Gordon, Henry County. They're right by that buoy. Or they're to the right of it, or to the left of it to us. How deep are we? I don't know. 15. Yeah, 15 too. All right. You got it's, him? Yeah, it's a good fish right there. All right, all right. Get I ain't not at him. He just kind of. Oh, he might be a big one. He might. He might. He get, might get down there. Is. Get down there. He's close. <laughs> right on this armor rod. Right here. Oh, he's fighting something. Actually, he's kind of getting smaller. Well, if he goes in the live well, he'll go in the live well. He's a good one, bud. No. Get him on the net. He's a good one. He's a good Heck starter. Yeah. You had him on the jig? Yeah. All right. It's about to get nasty oh, right here. 18, 20. It's about to get nasty. Throw towards that red marker more than we were. We fished together for probably five or six years now. We started out just fishing ponds and stuff, and we finally just started getting into tournaments. But he helps me by, you know, by pushing me and like just saying, "Oh, throw there, throw there." You know, uh, just makes me more determined to, you know, catch catch more fish. Get back in there, bud. You know, he pretty much said it all. We, he's good. He's a great all-around fisherman. I mean, if we can keep him off the ground, hung on the bottom, I mean, he's awesome. I don't have any complaints. Yeah, son, get that hug in there. <laughs> net, net. Hang on just a second. <laughs> he's running. Oh, he ain't that big. Can you flip him? Oh, no, he's just running toward me. He's all right. Oh yeah, he's a. Did he spit a, it? Did he spit it? No. You see my rock right here, right here. All right, see him right there, bud. Come here, boy. Here you watch, oh, watch the rock. All right, here. Take the net. Um. Well, I mean, it's been all right. We've had a. <laughs> oh, we've had a good start. Um. I mean, I caught that that I think, first I fish. I think what is this fifth that fish? That first right fish here? really did it. It got us pumped up, I guess. We've noticed that uh, they've really started to uh, liking, you know slow moving baits and things like that so we'll throw something big in there first and then if they don't start hitting that we'll just drag it out and as you can see they they like it first day we had a limit way earlier than this but we have a few bigger ones in there which that's really good is this number five right here is that five right there sean yes it is let me put them in the right one Hey, pull one of those fish out of there, a smaller one, we'll while you're the back light. there and put it in that other live well so we know when to cull. Oh. They are live. Yeah, really we're know. probably gonna do a lot of running. We need to hit a lot of schools and get as mu much as we can. Um, I mean, we're not catching a lot. I mean, we're catching a couple big ones out of each school, but I mean, to get all the weight we need, we're gonna have to run around a lot. Yeah, fine. Uh, these schools are just starting to get right. Later on in the day, they'll 
they'll set up way better than these are. And we'll be able to hit some of our spots that we trolled over this morning. Heck of a day for Henry County, the locals, Sean Burkhart and Gavin Gordon. Knowledge of how to fish these, these ledges, these drop-offs, these sandbars. Main Lake on Kentucky Lake. Can they pull it off? We'll be back. There we go! Costa Bassmaster right High School National Championship presented by Dick Sporting Goods. Yeah, yes, School bass yeah, fishing yeah, is huge yeah. in this particular uh, tournament trail. There are over 5,000 participants representing 45 of the 50 states. Right now we're looking at teams from Arkansas, Tennessee, doing very well in this one, especially this team right here, Henry County, the locals. My, my main thing that I'm probably going to be throwing is uh, the Nico rig. And he's going to be, uh, well, you, you mainly throw in the jig Dragging and the scrounger. Out. And I'll, I'll throw that swim bait in there, that spoon in first to get the big ones out first. Like you said, Tommy, the locals are prosperous on this final day. They're putting all the tools of the trade on Kentucky Lake out on the offshore ledges, those humps, those bars where those schools of fish will gather for their summertime places. We've seen them throw the magnum spoon. We've seen them rigging right there, a jig. And we also heard them mention the Nico rig. Like Sean Burkhart said, when it got tougher, they'd go with the smaller, more finesse approach. And that was where the Nico caught a lot of fish for them. On day one, they said they went through a bunch up. of fish. And on day two, they're expecting to do the same. We caught a lot of bass yesterday. I'd say we're getting close to about 15, 16, probably. I don't know for a fact. <clears throat> Good fish, get the net, get the net. He's right here. Actually, he's kind of getting smaller, but he's a good He one. might be running towards you, because that's what that one did. He might right cool. here. Get down, get down, get down. He's uh, too little. He won't cool. What the? What are you throwing, jig? Yeah. Heck. He's barely hooked. Now, Aaron likes these moving baits today. What's our smallest fish right now? Uh, two and a half, three. We've been using a Magnum Spoon by Ben Parker Outdoors. Um, Nichols Lures is the maker of that. And um, we've been throwing it on. I've got a Kistler rod and it's extra heavy. And it's just, we've been catching them on that right there. That's why we kind of want some sunshine to hit. I got you, I got you. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, let me hang on, hang on, hang on. On the spoon. Yes. Hang on, hang on. That's a good one. Oh yeah. Oh, big one? No, he, he, he spit it. Two five four, two five four. This is the one I just caught. Three, three, three. So yeah, he'll cool. I I ripped it up real fast, and when it fluttered back down, he hit it. I missed him on that first cast, or that first uh, bite he had on it, and he just let it fall back down. He came back and he slammed it. I think they're hitting at mine. They're swatting at it. It's gotta get some of those smaller ones out of there. The sun shining brightly on Kentucky Lake, and you heard the team there. That sun helps light up that uh, basically full-length mirror that is the oversized spoon right there, part of their arsenal with which they are having great success. Now back to our Arkansas team from Hot Springs Lakeside. We see Browning and Vereen fishing the way they like to, fishing up shallow, known as river rats over in Arkansas, and they're making it work. Good docks coming up. They should hold some fish. Definitely should be one up on the dock. They're the juiciest looking ones on this whole stretch, at least. After we fish the stock, we're gonna run over and hit that, yeah, where we caught the, hit the flurry. He's still the brush. Golly. Got him. Got him? Yeah. 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 Yeah, yes, sir. Get in here, baby. Yeah. Good job, baby. Baby. All right. That's a slaunchy donkey right there, baby. A slaunchy donkey. Was that green one was the littlest one in there? Yeah. 
just put him in there with, on the green side too. On this one or this one? Yeah, no one. Big side, big side, this side. This side? No, that's the smallest side. Yeah, he's putting him on. That's the biggest piece you got. Put him on the small side. All right. Fish, fish. That's a coal right there. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> about 20 pounds, I think. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Is that on the chatter bait? Yeah, old chatter chicken. <laughs> he hit it the first time and he missed it. And I burned it a little bit more and he, he got it the second time. Wow, what a moment for this team right here. What did Bo Browning call that fish, Ronnie? A, a slaunchy donkey, right? And like you say, that's a tribute to our, our colleague, Mark Zona, and also Dave Mercer. All in one, one nickname for a big bass, and that is a big one. This team has a limit, and two of them are in that size class right there. So things are going just perfect for this team from Hot Springs Lakeside in Arkansas that started the day in eighth place. Let's get back out to Moody Fishing, Moody, Alabama, Jackson Isbell, Trent Robinson, and. I tell you what, they looks for all the world. With 150,000 acres here, this team appears not to have moved three feet during the course of this day. Is that where you guys saw us? Yeah, but it, the fish was close to the boat. You need to put the boat farther out, I think. Yeah. Any bigger? I can't tell. That's 15. Yeah, you probably ain't got a roof measure that. Was it close to the boat? What? Was it? Not that. Yeah, that's better. I put it on the other side. It ain't a big one. Jackson Isbell and Trent Robinson of Moody Fishing finding the fishing a little bit slower today after day number one when they knocked out 22 and a half pounds. A little time left. Got to make the most of it if you want to grab the national championship. We'll be back. The Costa Bassmaster High School National Championship presented by Dick Sporting Goods is brought to you by Carhartt. Dick Sporting Goods. Bass Pro Shops. And by Costa. Costa Bassmaster High School National Championship. Over 230 boats here on the final day on Kentucky Lake in Moody Fishing, Moody, Alabama. This team not at the pace they were on day number one. Still looking for a limit. Need to pick up that pace and put some big ones in the boat. They want a shot at the title. Big. Let her jump. Keep it down, keep it down. Woo! Yeah! Hey, you go, you go, you go! Get jig back in there. I got it, I got it. You like it? <laughs> I like it. You got more minutes to get another than the boat. Why do we always have to wait till minutes left before we catch any big ones? That's what happened Thursday. I've been trying to get it all day. That was the fifth fish? Yeah. Fifth one. Making sure we don't have to see it. Took a good while to get that fifth limit fish in the boat for Moody Fishing from Moody, Alabama, but that was a good one. They'll need some more good ones, as we say, if they wanted to have a shot at the title to win the national championship. Lakeside High School, Arkansas, well, they've improved their lot, but not enough so far. God, dog, that thing hit it. I'm talking about 
I watched the company engulf the whole thing. You see that? He hit it by the time I pulled it out of the water. You see that boil? Oh, I just saw he set the hook and I saw the bait flying in my face and duck down. <laughs> I heard the duck. That line so I thought the big one, you know how sometimes the big ones get real aggressive when you reel it out of there and they'll come up and eat it? Right. No. So you want them to eat it though. Come on now. He hit it when I was reeling it out of there too. And then I killed it. I guess he missed it the first time and I killed it and kept my line tight and I felt him go doink doink. Oh, Browning finally coaxes that one into the boat. That will be a bit of an upgrade, but not much of one for this team, which started the day in eighth place and still languishing outside the top five. The Henry County High School team, Sean Burkhart and Gavin Gordon, have been waiting for their fish to position and set up the perfect way on these offshore spots. And in the closing moments of the day, they're setting up perfect. Oh yeah, here he goes. It. Get him. No, he ain't on there yet. He's wanting it though. Big That's up. one right there, bud. Oh yes, double. Grab that net. <laughs> Mine's big, bud. No, that's yours. That's mine. Mine's in the back. Jumped. Hang on, give me that net. I'll put it between my legs. Don't let slack on it. I think mine's big, bud. All right. Nah, never mind. That's action right there, son. <laughs> it's one way to do it. Ah, he getting her done. No. You think she? Dude. I can't get this thing out. She won't do it, will she? He's swallowing it. You, you goon. I need to get back out there. That's not Cullen. Nets flying, baits flying, and uh, two fish that unfortunately will not make the cut. But that speaks to the quality of the five fish limit in the boat right now for Sean Burkhart. Gavin Gordon, the locals from here on Kentucky Lake from Henry County High School. Time is running out and they need at least another big one. I'd love to get a scrounger bite right now. I'd love to get a Oh, get the net. All right. Say no more. This might be a big one, dude. This Say might. Say no more. Ah. He'll, I think he'll call that little fish, though. Stay down, stay down, bud. Just get him over here towards the net. Yeah, he's calling that little one. He a couple ounces. Chasing them big old gizzards. That's son. not bad. We won't have no two no more. It's bigger than that other. That's all we need. Yeah, that two. We're glad. I'm glad. I wish we had about a four and a half instead, though. Going to be an upgrade, but a small one for the Henry County High School team, Sean Burkhart and Gavin Gordon, as we take you back to Paris Landing State Park right here on the banks of Kentucky Lake. And boy, what a shot fired by the South Florence High School team. This team bringing in 23 pounds and two ounces on day number two. With that great limit right there, they will take the lead and watch what happens. We are down to two teams. And you're like, why is he walking back over here again? I'm ready for him to weigh it in. Are you trying to peek in those uh, tubs and see what's in the bag? Yeah, I'm trying to peek. <laughs> All right, two to go. Let's bring up the next team. They are your local team from Henry County, Tennessee. They had 22 pounds, 11 ounces coming into today. Let's welcome to the stage, Sean Burkhart and Gavin Gordon. They got a bag of fish, 20 pounds and nine ounces. We'll put Henry County in the lead, looking for 20 pounds and nine ounces. 20 pounds and four ounces. You guys are gonna hold on. Reach in there though, second place. 
for Henry County. First year for this school to form a fishing team, and they are going to take home no worse than a third place finish for Henry County High School. Great job, second place, Henry County. Let's hear it for them. This team behind you has already won one of these tournaments. They've won the largest fielded Bassmaster event ever in the history of the organization. They know how to beat some fields, but you guys aren't going to make it easy. Uh, no, sir. <laughs> you want to know what the good news is? You're done sitting in the hot seat. Stand up. We're going to bring you right here. All right. The question is, is are you guys ready to crown a 2017 national champion? All right. Well, let's do it. We're bringing them up. They're the champions of the Southern Open, and they were leading coming into today from Springville, Alabama, the Springville Anglers. Logan Henderson and Steven Swan. They need 19 pounds and 8 ounces to take home this trophy. If it's anything lighter than that, South Florence is going to be taking that trophy back to South Carolina, looking for 19.8. Four pounds and 8 ounces. And South Florence, Costa Bassmaster High School National Champions from South Florence High School. Ty Floyd Jr. and James Gibbons, and that is presented by Dick Sporting Goods. Congratulations, guys. That's going home to Florence, South Carolina. I ain't want to cry on camera, but it's hard not to. Well, you got it going now. What does this mean to you? Uh, this means a lot. <laughs> I mean, we've worked for this for a long time. You guys worked hard. Tell me about that. Yes, sir. This is my last year, and, you know, he has one more year. Hopefully he takes it home next year. Any any other emotions, anybody you didn't say thank you to who got you here? Uh, Bass, I mean, for putting this on. I don't think I said thank you to y'all, but, I mean, you got to thank God. I mean, he's the one who put us in. I, mean, I want to make a big thanks to Coach Strussel. He has made a wonderful fishing team. Coach, you earned it just as much. Step up over there. Let's hear it for all the coaches again. Oh, that's the team right there. Tommy Floyd, James Gibbons, and their coach, each basking in this day, which they will never forget. A national championship for these guys. And, Ronnie, I'm saying there's a lot of pro anglers, top-level pro anglers, who have never fished a final day against a field that big. Hats off to them, huh? Hats off. They came back from back in the pack. A lot of 20-pound baggers on Kentucky Lake this week. They were down in 13th place, but they rose to the top on that final day and got it done. All right, this year, once again, a testament to the incredible growth of high school bass fishing, this, uh, this event right here. Now representing 45 of the 50 states out there. Huge, huge deal. And again, congratulations to all the participants who got out there and gave it their best on the final day. We'll see you next time.